Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So in, in this video, uh, there are two cards here. Uh, this card was uh, the one that was repaired in the previous video. So both these cards are MSI Ventus 3070. Uh, this was the one that was repaired in the previous video where it was not getting detected. And we have a second one here. So Today's video is about this card here. So I'll take this card out. There you go. So we only have this one card here. Okay. Now, uh, let me tell you about this card. This card is getting detected, but there is no picture. Okay, there's, there's no picture that's coming out from the ports now i wouldn't have made this video but the reason i'm making this video is because one it's it's the i think this for any repair technician this would be the most easiest repair um, you know one can perform um but the reason i'm making this video is because uh, you know i was just reading to through the uh, discord community uh, you know comments and uh, you know I, I found that many many uh, you know try to complicate things rather than keeping it simple so uh, why I say that I will show you in this video now in this particular card okay there there is no video that's coming out so uh, there is no picture it's only the fan spin, the card is detected when I take a look on the internal graphics. Mats run fine. Um, when I boot into Windows uh, through the internal graphics, I see that uh, all the drivers are fine. No, no code 43 or any kind of errors. So this card is actually running fine, but there is no picture. Now, many, uh, you know, users would first go ahead and try to flash the BIOS or something like that. But I'll tell you what the problem is. Okay. Now, uh, let me get this thing here. Okay. So this is an HDMI, uh, you know, tester. Okay. So you also get a, a another tester for display port as well i think i have it here somewhere i'll have to search for it uh, okay so i have the display port tester as well but i okay I, no, I can't find it right now but uh, it's there somewhere okay so it's there somewhere so I, there is a display port tester as well so this thing i can check each of the connections that uh, that makes contact and when i when i check this okay i don't get the readings now when you test this with this you test it in diode mode so that uh, you know you can check if uh, there is connection now when i tested it i see that these ports here they don't make contact okay so now normally uh, someone would think okay uh, there is uh, uh, either there is dirt or it's not making or the pads where it's making contact is broken so how i would approach this is by cleaning uh, you know the contacts here now if i take a look under the microscope let me uh, let me switch over to the microscope okay so if i take a look i see that the pads are fine but there is a lot of gunk or uh, dirt that is inside you'll find this especially on cards that were used for mining there is a lot of dirt now what i'm going to do is uh, i will just clean this card this contacts and then check if I get any display. Now I don't see any broken pads under there. Now, so this these ports should work fine. Now if you take a look there, you can see the dirt. Now this was uh, very dirty. 
okay it, it was clogged so i removed some of the dirt but there's still more cleaning that's left so i thought i'll make a video uh, you can see these ones are pretty clean but uh, as as i move this side i you know you can see a lot of dirt that's inside there so what i'm going to do is uh, you know i will clean these and uh, you know and we'll continue from there okay so what i'm going to do is i'll just take cut a small piece of uh, cotton that's the piece of cotton and I'm going to take my trusty tweezers oh sorry Okay, so I'm just going to wet this cotton here with isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Now let me switch over to, so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to insert this. And just rub it with isopropyl alcohol. So what's going to happen is any gunk that's there, it's going to get rid of it. So I'm going to do the same thing on all the pads. see it's much more cleaner now there you go <clears throat> so sometimes what you would see is uh, let me just focus You know, there's there's a lot of oxidation that forms on those pads because uh, these cards are used in a you know in a temperature where you know in air conditioners and these uh, you know they they oxidize and because of that they don't make proper contacts. I'm just going to check. I can see a couple of okay, let's take a look at the HDMI port. I know it's a little bit difficult to focus inside there, but uh, they look fine. If I look straight, okay. So they all look clean now. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this card now and see if we have a picture. So I'm going to take this card, put it on my bench and uh, test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the other camera and uh, let's take a look. Okay, so the card is on the bench. Okay, let's uh, test it out. Okay, it's detected. Let's see if we have a picture. And we do. There you go. I think this is the world's simplest repair. I didn't even have to open the card. Uh, the thing here is, uh, you know, sometimes simple repairs needs to be kept simple. Uh, okay, let me just do this. Sometimes we need to keep the repair simple, you know, uh, and the thing is we, you know, as repair technicians, we sometimes complicate it. Uh, probably, you know, would, uh, normally I would have looked at BIOS and things like that. But if you go to see, it, it was a very simple repair. I just had to take a look at the ports and, uh, you know, just do that. So you can take a look. Now we have a picture from the card. And let's take a look at the drivers. There you go. There you go. It's all done. So uh, it, it was simple. The reason I uh, wanted to uh, go ahead and show you this uh, on video is because uh, a lot of uh, us, you know, we, we do make mistakes. Um, I've learned it the hard way. Uh, in in my experience so I thought let me make a video because uh, sometimes simple things need to be kept simple so uh, that's about it for this video I hope you liked it if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this thank you and have a good day